Hey guys, how's it going everybody? My name is Wolfswinger and ladies and gents, welcome on back to a brand new episode of Customs for Lego Incredibles. And today we're going to actually put together a really, really cool character. So a lot of you guys have been asking and have been suggesting like, hey, could you possibly try to attempt to create Jack-Jack as he has grown up. So that is what we're gonna go on ahead and attempt to do. Of course, if you're wondering like, hey, who the heck is Jack-Jack? Maybe you don't even have an idea of who that character is. Well, of course, the family of the Incredibles consists of all the adults, like, or I guess there's also two kids, but we've got the adults, Mr. Bob Parr, AKA Mr. Incredible. Then we've got Elastigirl, the one and only Helen Parr. And then of course we've got Violet, AKA Violet Parr, Dash, aka dash bar and then there's little jack jack the adorable ever ever so adorable uh baby known as jack jack now jack jack has an insane amount of powers and that is going to be probably the most difficult aspect about designing this character is just figuring out like what actual power set we're going to go with so we're going to decide on that in just a moment but what I want to go on ahead and mention is that, of course, guys, if you enjoyed this idea and you want to see more character designs like this one, like I'm thinking of doing one for Buzz Lightyear because I think that could be a fun character to add into this game because, after all, we do have Woody in the game, but no Buzz Lightyear. So it's kind of somewhat lame. So I think we could go on ahead and try to fix that by building him into the game ourselves. Now, with that all in mind... Outside of Jack-Jack and Buzz Lightyear, if there's any other character that you would like to go on ahead and see built, use the comment section down below to let me know. And in addition to that, guys, become a part of that notification slash like squad. So if you guys can go on ahead and hit that thumbs up button if you enjoyed the video, that would be very highly appreciated. And if you didn't, you can always obviously hit that dislike button just as much. Thank you guys so very much for tuning in. And let's get rock and rolling. Older Jack-Jack coming right up. So we're going to get rid of the Blitzbot design that we put together before, which I still do love. I do think he looks pretty awesome. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to change the name first because we already know the character that we're working on. So that obviously... Oh, whoops. Let's uh, actually properly name him. I do find it kind of odd that his name is Jack-Jack now that I think about it. Like, wouldn't it just be Jack? His nickname could be Jack-Jack, you know? Maybe Super Jack. Or super jacked. Maybe we make him super muscular. That would be funny. All right. So we're not going to give him any helmet of any type. I will go on ahead and probably I think what would be a fair face to use for Jack-Jack is something similar to like Dash. So this is maybe like teenager Jack-Jack will do as though he's at the age that where uh, Dash currently is. So Dash would be an adult at that point and Jack-Jack would be a kid and i feel like that would be a fair uh design so i'm kind of thinking to use the gamma jack hair just because i feel like since he had that pointy hair just coming up from the top of his head which does look funny and cool i feel like it would be really really cool for us to go on ahead and give him this really spiky kind of haircut to take advantage of that previous haircut that he had I think it would be also somewhat funny if we gave him this hair because then it's like it's sort of hilarious that Jack Jack ends up looking like Syndrome. And I think that that would be an interesting point because Buddy Pine kind of was hoping to be the almost sidekick to Mr. Incredible. But then Jack Jack ends up having the exact same type of hair. And he does have pretty much like orange hair from what I remember. It, it's it's really kind of like light brown. So to the point where you could definitely pretend or say that it's orange so i think it would be kind of funny to go on ahead and include that as his hair as well so let me know down in the comment section below what you guys think of that uh would it be a cool idea or not for now what we'll do is we'll go on ahead and change this hair to the orange style like that so we'll give him this haircut for now and then of course we might go on ahead and when we do the adult version of Jack Jack, we could go on ahead and actually give him the syndrome haircut, which would be kind of cool. Maybe he even turns to become a villain. That would be a really cool surprise, wouldn't it? So let's go on ahead and obviously give him the proper Incredibles attire as he should have. And I think it would be kind of cool if Jack Jack was the first one of the Incredibles that had a cape. So I think that would be a pretty sweet idea. I don't know what color. I'm thinking either yellow or red, but I wanted to see what green looks like. 
I think yellow will work well because the suit is yellow and red. Well, the logo, I should say, is yellow and red uh, and black and orange, but we're not going to make black the choice there. So I think that that looks pretty cool. Then what we're going to do is we're going to go on ahead and change his gloves color. Maybe I want to see what red looks like. Mm, the all red is a little bit much. What about the yellow gloves? I think that could be kind of cool, actually. Plus, again, it gives us a little bit of color. So I think that that works really well. Yeah, we'll go with the yellow gloves. Then for the legs, we do need to change those to be red. And then, sorry, for the hips to be red. And then the legs, which is going to be an equally crucial part here. Hmm. That's all right looking. Not great. I feel like an evil version of Jack Jack would be something like this. The fire super suit, I think, would look sweet. Those are the legs that we just had on him, I believe. The Fironic or Fironic, however you want to pronounce that. So th that's an option. As is that, by the way. I think that could uh, work as well. I also think we probably need to change the torso to just the flat Incredibles logo, right? Because obviously he needs to be a part of the Incredibles. But then maybe as he grows older, we make him th become a villain or something like that. Because I think that could be cool. I'm thinking, what if we change the arms to be yellow as well? Nah. What if we made them black? That sort of looks cool, doesn't it? There we go. It's the... Again, I want to try to make Jack-Jack unique and different because he's different to the family in terms of like, hey, he's got multiple abilities. And hey, he maybe is because of that kind of like the standout of the family in terms of like he's different to the other members of the family. So therefore, I want his suit to also be different. I don't want it to all be just red like it would be for the typical Incredibles. So I'm trying to kind of, you know, sneak some of those elements into the costume to kind of tell almost a story using the design and the costume itself, which I think will work really well. So hopefully this turns out really, really, really nicely once we are actually done with the design. I think that looks really cool too, because it works well with the uh, orange on the belt. So I kind of like that look quite a bit. I think that that might be the one that we go with, honestly. So let's see. I want to see different powers real quick. I was thinking fire would be appropriate because I feel like with fire, he could become the fire wielding character on the Incredibles. Now, of course, again, he's got a multitude of powers. He's got different abilities that he has. I also feel like flight would be cool. Maybe he doesn't learn flight yet, right? Maybe he, right now he'll become like a wielder of flames. And because of that, he becomes a villain because they can't actually keep him sustained and stuff like that. Which would be a really, probably somewhat tragic storyline. But also at the same time, incredibly epic turn of events within the universe of the Incredibles. So I'm really, really, really happy with that look right there for Jack-Jack. I think that he turned out quite fantastically, fantastically awesome. So let's go on ahead and spawn him in and take a look at the character itself. He looks a little bit like Robin, I guess, now that I think about it. Uh, to a certain extent, I guess I could see that if someone were to say that. Uh, he has flame abilities, which is cool. So that's neat. Holy, look at that. Jack-Jack just goes flame on. So that is neat. We're going to go on ahead and see the suit outdoors and see how it actually looks outside of Edna Mode's uh, cave there. I always wonder why every time that we exit an episode of Customs, it is always nighttime out here. That's really, really strange, isn't it? I find that just to be really funny and odd. But here's Jack-Jack looking absolutely fantastic. I am actually really, really happy with this look. Again, he is the unique member of the Incredibles, and I wanted to make sure that he did look different to the other Incredibles. We might be able even to design a rendition of him as Monster Jack-Jack again. I wish maybe there was big figs in the game because then we could definitely create one and it would look really, really cool. Well, sorry, I wish there were big fig customs in the game because we could for sure then create a cool take on Monster Jack-Jack uh, as he's all grown up. But either way, ladies and gents, let me know what you guys think of the design. Do you like it or do you not? If, of course, you guys like the idea of the syndrome hair for Jack-Jack because I think that's kind of a cool idea to where... 
Jack Jack grows up to have the exact same hairstyle as Syndrome. And I, I don't know, I just think it'll, it'll add this really cool level of uh, design, I guess, to the uh, overall universe of the Incredibles. So I think that that would be a cool idea. And then in addition to that, of course, I think it would be really, really cool if we pretended or had this idea of a storyline as though maybe Jack-Jack becomes mind controlled even or something like that. And that's what causes him to turn evil. And therefore he becomes a villain as he grows to become a full adult. He actually becomes a villain, a super villain instead of a superhero. So that could be a really cool rendition design that we could put together as well. So let me know if you guys like that idea. Cause I really think it would be really cool to put together a design where maybe he's got the ability of flight, but in the, at the same time, he's got the, um, a completely different costume to go along with uh, his new attitude. So let me know if you guys like that idea and if you'd like to see an upcoming episode of Customs for that. In addition to that, don't forget to hit that like button, as I said before. Let me know in the comment section below what other characters you would like to see done up in the customizer for LEGO Incredibles. Of course, like always, guys, have an absolutely fantastic day. I'll catch you all here next time. Peace out. See you laters, alligators. Bye-bye, everyone.